Hi, I'm Az, also known as AM Dasu, and I write both non-fiction and fiction children's books, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Um, now, my book, Boy Everywhere, which you can see the cover for behind me, has been chosen as part of the Empathy Collection for 2021, which I'm so happy about. And it's about a boy who lived a happy, normal life, who made plans with friends, had the potential to play for the school football team. He had an iPad, a PlayStation, a great school, weekends at the mall to look forward to, and he loses it all. Um, and Boy Everywhere shows the terrible journey taken by 13 year old Sammy and his family. And they go from privilege to poverty and they go across countries and continents from a comfortable life in Damascus to a smuggler's den in Turkey to a detention center or a prison in Manchester. And it's a story of survival, of family, of bravery. And it looks at the refugee crisis in a completely new way. And through Sammy's eyes, it shows that we are all one cruel twist of fate away from becoming refugees ourselves. It can happen to anyone and I wrote it because I really wanted to um, ha have people come together and to build empathy and to break down barriers so I'm now going to read an extract from there from the book which is a little bit later on in the book around chapter six and this is after Sammy's left home he's been forced to leave home and they've arrived in Turkey and they've been tricked into an apartment by a smuggler. Okay, so. We trudged through the muddy front yard and through a wooden side gate into the back. I could just about make out some iron railings. Behind them was a stone staircase which the driver led us down. Baba reached out for my hand and I took it, surprised to find Baba's was trembling. I held my hand out to Mama, she carried Sara, and we all moved down carefully, making sure we didn't miss a step and tumble. We walked through a creaky door and into a room full of people. The driver went to, talk, to speak to a tall, thin man in a language I guess was Turkish, and then nodded to Baba as he walked back out. He locked the door behind him, and the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Well, why had he locked the door? Well, what if there was a fire? How would we get out? I looked around. Or were we going to stay in this one room with all of these people? There were no windows, just the locked door behind us and the only light from the candles dotted about on the floor. We followed Baba between groups of people trying not to step on anyone. Some lay on their backs and stared at the ceiling while some slept. A woman rocked a baby back and forth. The room smelled tangy of mould and smelly armpits tried not to breathe in from my nose, but I could still taste it in the back of my throat. Baba stopped in a corner where space had been made for us. Go to sleep for a bit, he said. Sleep? There was no way I'd be able to sleep. I leant against the cold wall, looking around the room. There were so many people. I could hardly see the floor. There had to be at least 30 of us. The people became blurry. I couldn't see them clearly anymore. Tears spilled down my chin and splashed onto my jeans. For the first time since we left Syria, what we were actually doing had really hit me. We had left home. Home. Home where my bed was, my clothes, the fridge full of food, where the maid cleaned up our mess and kept everything in order. Now, now I was in chaos. And I had no idea how long we'd be here. A day? A week? How are we supposed to get to England from this dump? What if the only way was on a boat? My mind raced with questions, even though I didn't want to think anymore. I looked at Baba. He had his eyes shut. Sara lay on Mama's chest, her eyes closed tight as if to block out everyone and everything. Mama's fingers glided slowly over one prayer bead, then the next. I wanted to shout and scream and ask why we were here, but I knew I couldn't. We were all in the same situation. I had to stay quiet. Mama said so. You can do this, Sammy, I told myself. It'll all be okay once you get to England. So that is the moment where Sammy's life changes forever. It is never, ever the same again after this point. And um, yeah, so Boy Everywhere is about experiencing um, a story and the lives of others. It's about really looking into a window where you will understand what it feels like to have everything and to lose it all. Um, and I wrote it because I really wanted people to connect to Sammy 
um, and um, really focus on what we have in common and not on our differences. I hope when you do read it that you enjoy it and get lots from it and I'd love to hear from you via Twitter or Instagram when you do. Uh, in the meantime, take care and uh, stay empathic. Bye.